And thank you for your question. Yeah, really privileged, really grateful for uh, the people that has given me the chance to play here. As I, when I was a player, it was Arsene that gave me the chance to play for this incredible football club. And then obviously the board um, that gave me the opportunity to be as a manager. So very privileged. Thank you. <laughs> Mikel Arteta from Spain. <laughs> Go to Mark from the Sun. <laughs> Just asking about Eddie, obviously. Yeah. I mean, every time he comes into the team, there's always like a sort of bit of pressure on him to sort of justify his place in the team. I mean, today he's obviously given the perfect response to everyone who says he's not quite top level. Well, for me, he is top level. Um, he's played, I think he's started nine out of the ten Premier League games. So that tells you how much we trust him, how much I trust him, and uh, and the importance that he has in the team. Really happy for him, an academy player to experience today in the Premier League a hat trick. He needs to enjoy the moment. He fully deserves it, and um, and hopefully there are many more to come. Okay, Jim. Uh, Mikhail, how, in your opinion, how much difficult is it for a team to get promoted from the Championship into this division? And compete, um, it, it, you know, in a league that's you know regarded as as the best in the world. Is it no. the toughest in terms of all those leagues in Europe to compete in? Well, from in my personal opinion, this is the best and the most competitive league in the world. So it is really difficult for us. So I can imagine for a team that is uh, coming uh, from the championship how difficult it is. But big credit to Sheffield. You know, I watch all the games that they played against the big teams and how many problems they have created to them, and the small margins uh, of how they have lost the games. So, which them the best? Jonathan? Luke, Mikel, you had some great moments of quality in the game. You also showed patience. But Paul Heckenbottom was in here saying that he felt Arsenal also won the physical battles as well, and that's not something that's always been associated with Arsenal. Is that pleasing as much as anything that? That shows the mentality and um, and the determination that the team wants and, and how much they have to respect every game and every ball because the influence that every ball has in um, in the journey that you have to have throughout a game and uh, they took the game in a really serious way because I gave them on Thursday uh, a big alert because they, the context and, and the difference in the game that we have to play today with the last Man City, Chelsea and Seville game and uh, I'm really happy they approach it. Peter Carr, from the Queen. Okay, um, the assist from Beckham Rice for the second game over them was obviously a fantastic pass. He had two assists and one goal in the past three games from him. Obviously, he's got fantastic defensive qualities, but would you like to see what he can do with it in the final third and be more of an impact there as well? Yeah, for sure. And this is uh, the next step and, and things that we can evolve and, and help him to, to improve. And just, you said that on Thursday you gave the players a bit of a job. Is that because maybe in the past these kind of games have been no, because obviously they come from the national team. So we beat City, we come from the national team, we have to go to Stamford Bridge and, and we did what we did in Stamford Bridge, then you have to go to Seville and, and that's a really, really stressful week with, with as well what they were experiencing in the last few weeks as well. So then you can have the tendency to whew, now okay we're gonna play at home and this and, and that was the the worst thing that we could have done to compete against this team today. Mikel, um, Martin Odegaard didn't play today. Was that the luxury of the scoreline and being comfortable in the game in the second half, or was that always something that? No, obviously we we, look, we went through all the minutes that everybody has played in the last three weeks, and some of them they played an enormous amount of minutes. And and Martin has been as well carrying uh, a little thing that wasn't very comfortable in the games. So. We have players uh, with enormous quality and, and we have to trust them and we believe that it was the right day to do so.